There you go. Well, fall is here. And it's time to close the green pool. Zipper, are you helping to close the pool? Hi everyone. We just finished closing the pool, so we figured we would give you a tour of everything we've gotten done this year. It's been a busy year, so let's get started. As anyone that's been watching the channel knows, these are our ducks. They are the latest addition. They have uh, been fun. No eggs yet, but we're hoping to get some soon. Uh, we built this whole enclosure in, I don't know, about three or four days. Not the whole days. It probably took us about five hours total. Underneath all the pal or underneath all the plywood is pallet wood. Um, so we literally took pallets and screwed them together. One thing that we did change after we had finished is that finished the uh, house is that uh, I did paint the the top white uh, to keep it cool and also to seal it up from the elements so that it doesn't warp any more than it had already started. And we put lights in. On the other side of the ducks, we have our compost where we put all the uh, quail and chicken droppings, as long as the as well as the wood shavings. Uh, the ducks will also go in there when we clean it out. Hatch on the back of the duck house to uh, clean it out and add more wood shavings. This is what we grew potatoes in this year. We cut pallets in half and just screwed them together with some landscape fabric so all the soil didn't fall out. We harvested potatoes last weekend, so I need to put it all back together, add some more wood shavings, some more soil, and get garlic in so that we can harvest garlic in July. This is kind of our uh, grow area for the quail. Uh, we move them around every day or two uh, just to give them fresh, fresh grass. And we just currently, because there's so many, our little tiny feeder doesn't work. So we just spread their food out on the ground and they kind of forage around for it. So this is our little garden area from this year. Lots of things are starting to finish up. I still have tomatoes ripening as well as tomato flowers, which doesn't make sense at all for where we live. They should be done. Uh, but we're just going to keep them here for as long as they keep producing. I did plant some stuff in effort to have a fall garden this year. So that's here. We have carrots over on the right and peas are starting to come up right here. As you can see, our kale is still doing very well. I've read some stuff about being able to overwinter the kale and so I want to try that this year. The cabbages are almost ready to come inside and there's more different types of carrots over here. We did peppers and cinder blocks against the quail coop this year and our peppers have never done as well as they did this year. Uh, we also got, had some kale and some celery in there but the peppers liked the cinder blocks the best so it'll be all peppers next year. These are the blueberries. They annoy me because I have to try to cut grass around them. But hopefully they'll eventually be big enough I won't have to do that. Just kill everything around it. And this is our annoying tree. Eventually this will go away because we hate it. It doesn't do anything, it just takes up space. And it lets off little tiny white flower petals for like three weeks and they cover everything and look like confetti. So that bush is going to come out and it's going to be garden next year. This is the leftover garden from the previous owners. We just don't talk about it very much because we want it to go away forever. This big guy was by far the biggest project of the year, uh, building the quail coop. We started out with just uh, one by two pallets and then we extended it uh, quite a bit to house even more birds that we wanted to get because the uh, egg stuff was working out so well for us. So this here that looks like a very sad little bush is a cherry bush, which I'm excited to eventually get cherries from. And this plant Scott's parents gave me and it's a rhubarb plant. Um, rhubarb can sometimes take over, so we decided to keep it in a pot and it'll just overwinter well when we put straw on top of it to keep everything kind of warm and we'll put it in a corner of the house so it's protected from the elements. This is the cold frame that we built. This is the last building project that we finished. It's not quite done. We still have to put sides on it, but we're hoping that we'll be able to get some vegetables into the colder weather and the fall. We have 
two different types of radishes, bok choy, spinach, and kale growing in this little area. So I know that I, that I said that the quail slash chicken coop was the biggest project, but I lied. I forgot about the massive fence that we put up. Um, that was a almost a week and a half undertaking, um, but the dogs have a place to run around and everyone is happy as it is finished. So that's how things look after we've been here for about nine months or so. We moved in in January and it's currently the end of September. Um, so far, so good. We also got some fruit trees in in the spring. That was probably one of the first things that we did. We have a couple more to go in next year and then we'll be set for fruit once they start producing. So I guess the uh, next step is to overwinter all the animals. That should be fun. So if you wanna see uh, that and anything else that we can get up to over the winter time, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and uh, keep watching.